Hi there, I'm Ankara Jones and I'm the Collections Officer here at Creswell Crags Museum and Heritage Centre and for today's Museum Passion event I thought I would just show you a few of my favourite objects from the collections. So here I've um, collated a few items that have come from Pinhole. So Pinhole is one of the caves here at Creswell Crags um, and the animals here lived in the middle of the last glacial or cold period and the very typical of the um, assemblage of species that lived in Britain uh, during this time. So first of all we have um, the jaw of a wild horse. So it's the jaw and it's got three teeth there. And then we have a woody rhinoceros tooth. Next we have a reindeer jaw. So it's got Three teeth there. We've got a little brown bear tooth there. And then we also have a jaw of a hyena here. So again, it's got the three teeth. So the hyenas are really important in telling the story of Creswell Crags and particularly Pinhole, because Pinhole is a really good example of a hyena den. So hyenas. Um, used to, when they used to live in Cresel Crags, they would um, den in the cave. So they lived there and they also brought their um, prey into the cave to eat as well. So people who excavated the caves, um, they found the remains of the hyenas, like this one, and then also remains of their prey. So here we have a limb bone and you can see here at the edges of the bone, there's evidence that the bone has been gnawed and this was likely by hyenas. So hyenas are really, really well suited to um, sort of gnawing and crunching on bones. Um, they do this with primarily with their premolars, such as this one here. So this one's quite worn down, but it's sort of, um, it would have been probably about that tall um, before it was worn down. Um, quite conical in shape, which is really um, good shape for cracking hard material like bone. In addition to this, they have um, quite deep jaws, which means um, the jaws are quite strong and we're able to withstand the stresses that are applied when cracking bone. And they also have really, really big jaw closing muscles, so they have a really powerful bite. So these teeth, the, their jaws and their muscles make them really ideal for cracking bone. So um, in places high in there, such as Pinhole, you'll find the hyenas, and then bones of their prey, such as the woody rhinoceros, that have evidence of gnawing on them. So this explains why the hyenas are really important to tell the story of Creswell Crags, because we know so much about them and the animals that lived here because of their habit of denning in caves and bringing the items into the caves. 